Okay, I'm sorry I'm, I'm presenting right after the, because I have to leave, but, uh, but uh, I, I, Dominique asked me to prepare just a few slides on, on this uh, Global uh, Task Force uh, website. And so basically um, the premise of this work is basically to, put, to try to find a, a place where all the information about the cholera and the Global Task Force activities are together. So it's really an instrument to, to be a one spot access to countries and partners to be, be informed have access to resources and re or request support on cholera GTFCC activities or on cholera in general, also from other partners. The idea is to make a, a site that is country and user with their country and user perspective. So it's not, all, not about the global task force, but it's really about country user perspective and it's tailored in a sort of form uh, application fashion to facilitate um, mobile compatibility, it to be very straightforward and simple to use, and, and we obviously going to use the same branding as all the documents for the Global Task Force. So this is just obviously a, 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 a very simple way to show you why we are going to use the same palettes and schemas. And then um, I just thought to show you here, it's really a draft now, but it's to show you what will be the homepage, obviously, with using the same colors and palettes and features of the current GTFCC image branding. But um, so the, the thought of that is basically to have a menu here where, where we will not have in one single spot uh, all the details about the Global Task Force and then a menu where, where we have information about cholera the roadmap, resources, research, news and meetings, and then scroll down in a, in a way that we have this information in, in, in through, through as we move forward, I couldn't do it here, but as we move forward in the site, we can uh, navigate and, uh, and, and hoover through the site to find the same information. Um, so that's, um, that's basically, you're gonna have uh, an area where basically you have the roadmap 2030, and then that area will have basically uh, the what is the roadmap about, but it's also what are the countries that are having national action programs, what is this progress on each of those countries. So having this information really at hand, an area where all the resources, and as we spoke this morning, the, the lab resources, the SOPs, there is so much information all over the place, and we there are today three sites that are sharing this information from WSO, from a, a different site. So we're trying to link this everything in one single hub. And so this resource area, again, this is all preliminary, okay? So it's gonna have all the technical guidelines. We'll have all the um, re requests for support. So all the dossier for applications of, of CV, all the different dossiers that are required, required for WASH or whatever other interventions, and also all the training materials can be coming from the Global Task Force and it can come from other partners, but really well organized and easy access for the countries to get this information in. Obviously, all the information about Nissan meetings and, uh, and not only the Global Task Force meetings, but also other partners' meetings that are going to happen, so we can also post this information here. And then at the bottom, we will have the specifics of about the GTCSCC, the strategy, the roadmap, the frame of action so that people understand what we have in here. I'm not gonna go into the details here, but just to say that this one page, and we're trying to look at these sub pages, so all the content that will go under each of those, those different menus that we just mentioned, and so the, to facilitate the work. So this is just to show you that this is a quick um, flow to, to, to understand exactly what will go on those sub pages and the filters to make it really as simple as possible as we can. This is a future idea of having a bottom of outbreaks and really having one single spot with all the outbreak latest information and information will, will be available. So that will be an area where just a one single you know, button and you can have this information instead of looking at it all over the place. And that's, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much. Thank you.